people over the years transformed casting skills into something that's hard to achieve. Something that needs years of practice to hold it for a few seconds. And so to avoid this, they search for that secret tip which will make them progress faster. But little did they know that the secret they've been looking for was right in front of them the whole time. I always see guys try to learn planche, but they can't even do like 30 push-ups. So yeah, it's always down to like the basics first. You can get the planche in four months. So you get to a good point in uh, weights, in lifting weights. And after this point, you get all the skills quick. You know, instead of starting with the skills and going a long way for each skill, it's too long and it might take off your motivation because you see very slow progress. Many people neglect spending time on really mastering basic exercises, causing them to progress slow or not at all. But why is that? Well, all you need to start learning the front lever are 10 pull-ups. You can find this information a lot and it might be enough, but that applies only for people who don't have big leverages from the start. This means that either they are naturally lighter, a little bit shorter or not having too much mass pulling them downwards. When you combine all three together, you got the ideal body for Kai Steng's skills, but we are not focusing on those. This is me after six years of training. And you would expect that I can do all the basic static skills like the front lever or sternal punch. But the reality is that I am nowhere near of unlocking them. What I did wrong, like also many other people, is that I neglected building a muscular upper body with doing basics. And from a very beginning focused mainly on statics, which was a terrible decision. When you start learning skills, the first thing you shouldn't be worried about is being not strong enough. Simple example, when you want to learn how to paint, you firstly need to have colors in order to learn it. So skills are something that you learn when you have the needed things or when your body is ready for them. Training for strength alone will move you only so far that your muscles can handle. It's similar to filling a balloon with air. The more air you want to put in, the bigger balloon you need and that's the same with muscles. Nobody in history lifted 300 kgs on deadlift without having big muscles. Same like nobody did full planche with skinny arms. You can check out every famous Kai Stengs athlete and the only thing you will see is a muscular upper body. You can say that they build their bodies with statics and don't worry guys, I will get to this later. So if you want to learn static skills, you should immediately forget about them and really master basic moves like pull-ups, push-ups and dips and when these exercises are not challenging anymore, move to the weighted. If you don't trust me, you should definitely trust Ian Barsigal, the living proof that having a really strong base pays off. So the ideal time would be after being able to do harder pull-up and dip variations or weighted pull-ups and dips like 50 kgs for reps and of course the more will be only better. This strength will unlock you a gate with a faster journey to every skill. Again, Ian Barsigal started learning right from the start the straddle punch. No tuck, no advanced tuck and still he learned it after a month and then a full planche after another 3 months while being 86 kgs and 6 foot 2. How? Because he was smart and understood that you need muscles and strength to do this stuff. And so he did for many years weighted calisthenics. For example, I would need to look like Lysans to be able to do his stuff because I'm almost the same height and weight. There's just simply no other way, no secret technique, you just need muscles that will be able to execute the move. Of course, this is an option you can choose, but it has more drawbacks than benefits. If you would spend two years learning the straddle punch, then it will be pretty much the only thing you will learn, because straight arm strength doesn't transfer that much into a bent arm strength. But if you would spend two years with weighted dips, then you would not be limited by your strength and so learning any harder move will be really easy and a lot faster. Yes, muscle is muscle, but the difference is that with basics and mainly hypertrophy you will spend a lot less time of building somehow big muscle 
then building the same one with statics. In the car strength community, we got a few people that have pretty big muscles and still can do a full planche. For example, let's take a look at Daniel Vedma. What's the reason why he can't full planche? The lack of knowledge on how to chain planche? Bad technique? No, he just don't have muscles big and strong enough to hold his body because Daniel chose to eliminate his chances by training for aesthetics. And as we all know, training legs isn't a good idea when it comes to learning levers. We have already talked about me, but I know a few other guys having the same problem. For example, my friend David, which is training for many years but unlocking the straddle planche or front lever is nowhere near. Same with Philip, Wojta or Gregis. All these guys are having the same issue with progressing really slow or even progressing backwards. <laughs> yeah. The main problem? Not having the muscles needed and so they want for their bodies to do the impossible. Ok, I will just quickly go over this one because as we all know the actual workout is the easiest part of working out. <laughs> the real struggle is the diet and getting all the right nutrients in to be able to recover and build bigger and stronger muscles. This is the crucial thing and without it your progress will stop after you run out of your newbie gains. Please just stay out of doing any skill till you got a really strong base. And that's another problem. How you will know when you are strong enough? You just gotta try it but me personally I wouldn't start learning any skill before being able to do a lot of bodyweight reps or heavy weighted reps. In the end, as I said, it doesn't matter how you will get those muscles. But if you don't wanna spend 10 years building it with a not optimal approach, do hypertrophy training. The famous you will get the skill by training the skill is not quite right because as I said, I've been training the front lever for six years and even though I didn't have the most perfect method or like workouts, I think that after 6 years I should be somewhere else than holding just a one leg front level. What's your opinion on learning casting skills? Let me know in the comment section down below.